De Sarde, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. Several of your men were imprisoned by the Ordo Luminous. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I had them arrested. They should no longer be a threat to you. The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets. They often cut both ways. Therefore, I'm going to reveal to you another. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. Then, our closest allies, we transported some lords, men, and merchandise. They began to colonize the island. The lords revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tirfredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. Your princes paid us well to keep their secret. They continued to make the occasional expedition. You are, in fact, a product of one of them. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. You are the child of a native. You were born on one of our ships. The child of an islander? But I know who my mother is, and... I understand how difficult this is to hear. And I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, we decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. You asked me for the truth, and now you have it. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. I can't believe it. That for all this time, I've been fed lies. The Constantine know. I must... I must go and see him. I understand you may be sad because you would like to. But do not be sad about who you are. Oh, you're we bunch. are a proud people. And I am glad to know that you Come closer, good people. You couldn't pick a better time. I've been taken with jitters like a cat on a midday roof. <laughs> what are you waiting for with such anticipation? I took your advice, you see. I've summoned one of these crows! He has been examining me for nearly an hour. I just barely escaped a purge. But I was given the mandatory bleeding. I so hate their little knives. And so then, our venerable doctor, what is the verdict? Black. <sighs> Constantine, is this your blood? Constantine, answer me. Constantine, stay with me. Constantine, there is a chance that he is in error. It might be something else. I'm going to die. No, no, Constantine. I will die, like your mother and the others on the continent. I I'm dying! I don't want to die. I don't. No, no, not so soon. It's so good. Cousin, I... I don't want... Constantine, I'm here. Pull yourself together. Out! Everyone out! It's in order! Thank you, cousin. There now. Are you better? I don't know. You won't leave me, will you? 
I'm going to find a cure, I promise you. Didn't you promise the same thing to your mother? You know I'll be dead before you find one. Don't say that. I will succeed. I've already some promising trails to explore. I don't know, cousin. The tidings are so awfully dire. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. I doubt the reason for your visit was to console me in my tragedy. Tell me, what brings you here? It can wait. It's nothing that can't be dealt with later. But please, please, whatever it is, it will take my mind elsewhere. I was able to get the whole story out of the Admiral in exchange for a service. As our investigation was leading us to imagine, the congregation did once attempt to colonize the island. The Norts discovered it some two centuries ago and brought our people here a few decades later. But the enterprise to colonize the island failed completely. There were a great many bloody battles. Few colonists survived. The princes preferred to hide their defeat and paid the noughts to keep the secret. That they hid the fiasco from the world, I get. But that my father said nothing about it to me. That's not the most shocking part of the story, believe me. What do you mean? The congregation continued to make expeditions to the island with the help of the noughts. According to the Admiral, my mother came from the island and was brought back. I was born on one of their ships. What? But... That means you are not... Your dear cousin? No. All the lies we've been fed since our tender childhood. The fable told that I'm the spitting image of my dead father lost during an expedition. God, I... I don't know what to think, Constantine. Why did they do that to me? I don't know. It's another one of their sly and dark orchestrations. Some vile intrigue. If it is of some comfort, no matter the true story, you will always be my dear cousin. You have always been the only one to care for me. You are my only friend. That's all that matters to me. Keep this discovery between us. No one needs to know. My aunt adopted you after all. Bring in the others. Let us speak of different concerns. That's enough bad news for one day. Kurt, what is... Dismissed, soldiers. Leave us. We have much to say. What is going on? I don't appreciate this attitude, Kurt. Must I remind you that these men all answer to me? Times change, your highness. Or rather, they're about to do so. Is that a threat? What are you hoping to accomplish? Don't tell silence. We have little time and not to lose. Kurt, what are you talking about? The commander of the Coin Guard is here in New Serene at this very moment. He's preparing a coup d'etat. In the three cities of the island, our men are going to eliminate the governors and their entourage. This is madness. How? How? You'll go down as easy as plum pie and cherry wine. Standing behind every one of you is one of our men. You have entrusted us with your security. You are completely at our mercy. Then why did you send your men away? And why are you telling us all of this? I've known you both for a very long time. Too long. I've come to know you. To respect you. And I've never reneged on a contract. These orders go against all that I am. A cold-hearted mercenary, definitely, but never a traitor. And so now you are forewarned. You must take action. Thank you, Kurt. I will not forget this. Constantine, we need to get you to safety as well as your counselors. But I want to... What? Take part? You can barely stand up. No, we must take you into the cellar. If I've completely understood what you've said, Kurt, the governors of our cities are also in danger. Yes. If you want to keep your allies, Your Highness, you also need to warn them. Correct. We cannot let them fall into the hands of these traitors. I will find the means to send them a messenger. Do you know where to find your conspirators? It would seem I should be one of them. They are counting on me to eliminate both of you. 
The most urgent matter is to get our hands on the commander and his three lieutenants. The others are doing nothing but following orders. If we cut off the heads, they will fall into rank. <sighs> I always knew you were a good man. Don't make me change my mind. We'd better be off. Now. We'll certainly have to fight some traitors at Torsten's behest on our way to the cellar. Stay on your guard. Stay behind us, Constantin. You're in no condition to fight. We must also think about the advisors, including your professor. And then we have to rescue Lady Morange. We must hurry before the guard can act. Lord de Cusillon. The coin guard tried to assassinate my cousin and is plotting the same actions against the other governors. So, they have finally done it. Such proximity to power is a terrible temptation. It was only a question of time before they succumbed. We should have paid more attention to your lessons. We might have been able to avoid all of this. Follow me. I'm taking you somewhere safe. I'm coming.
Lord Minister! The Coin Guard wants to take control of the island by assassinating all its governors. The Guard is everywhere. They could succeed. We will do everything in our power to thwart them. Come now. We'll take you somewhere safe. I'll follow you. We've reached the cellar. It looks like a good place to hide. Constantine, promise me that you will stay here until we secure the city. Do I even have a choice? Here I am, consigned to my quarters like some broken old maid. Like someone ill, Constantine. Someone sick who is dear to me, and the city wouldn't survive your loss. You have such a way with words. Very well. I promise to stay here obediently awaiting your return. Let's go, then. And cousin? Watch out for yourself. You were dear to me as well. You are safe here. Oh, you have my eternal gratitude, Excellency. We owe you our lives. You will be safe here. Thank you, my friend. I will never forget what you've done for me.
Lady Morange, make ready to depart. We cannot remain here. But what is going on? The coin guard has decided to take control of the Isle. They plan to overthrow the governors. They were set on assassinating Constantine and his entire entourage. The idiots! You are in danger. Do you know a safe place where we could take you? Don't worry about me. I have friends here. They will hide me. Go! And do be careful. Messenger, be ready to leave at once. You must warn the governor of Hikmet that a conspiracy is underway targeting him. Uh, it, it's just that I, I can't leave the city just yet. What are you talking about? The order comes from the governor. What more do you need? Uh, it, it's, it's just that I, I was told if I left the city today, it, it would cost me my life. Who said that? The commander's men, I suppose. Uh, I don't really know. They were heavily armed, and they pay very well. And so you are prepared to betray your prince and country for a few coins? Don't you understand that the reason I am standing before you is because the guard failed to take this city? Do you know the punishment reserved for traitors? Sorry, Excellency, but I can't. Move along now, Your Excellency. Or find somebody else. I'll not budge from here. It would seem drawing arms is the only way to convince you. On guard! Mercy! Mercy! Don't kill me! I shall carry the message. That would be in your best interest. Go. Run.
Now is not the time. Make preparations to leave. I have a message to communicate immediately to the governor of San Mateus. You must tell the Mother Cardinal that the coin guard is preparing a coup d'etat. Her life and those of her entourage are in grave danger. Very well, Your Excellency. I'll leave immediately. The commander must be in his upstairs quarters preparing the attack. We should try to reach him discreetly. We could try to go through the tavern's kitchen. That's one way to do it. Or we could use the scaffolding to access the upper floor directly. But it's visible from the dormitories. And I know that the young recruits were ordered to stay there. They will not suspect us if we're wearing guard uniforms. Do you know where the three lieutenants you told us about are located? Ludger is an instructor. He'll be in the right wing of the barracks. As for the other two, they'll be at the top. Olga and Werner are in charge of the guards' uh, secondary. In the basement. I see. Our priority should still be to stop Torsten. We'll worry about the others later. too late. Do you know where Torsten could have gone? No. But we'll certainly find some information about it in these papers. Torsten suspected that I would denounce him, and he was prepared to leave this place. We must catch up to him. He cannot get away with this. Let's go. Torsten is a snake, but he's clever. Apparently, he suspected I would refuse to follow. It's blocked. Blocked. It's blocked. What's that savage doing here? What do you think you're doing? Lay down your arms and surrender. That's not happening. 
to my help. Yeah. And death yeah. to the abyss! Found it down and limited him down. Come on, I'll kill you once I've done. What are you doing here? Who let you in? I demand an explanation. It seems that your men are a little distracted this evening, Lieutenant. It is understandable, with all that's been going on. You are under arrest, as well as your commander. But... What is this? I recognize you. You're the governor's emissary. And Kurt, you had your orders. Sorry. But forced to betray someone, I decided it would be the less likable of the lot. Traitor. Soldiers, ready weapons. Found it, Dara, Grimadera. The guard, we're moving out. Break camp. We are no longer welcome here. And so, these snake oil merchants defy us by sending their watchdog. Let's show them what guards are made of.
Do I have the time to return and see those dear to me? Constantine, how are you feeling? Death is on my doorstep, and all hope has flown through the window. Come closer. What ill tidings do you bring? Yes. I thought you'd like to know that the Coin Guard's attempt to take control of the island has failed. This is excellent news. The kind I've not had in a great while. Thank you, Kurt. Were it not for your loyalty, we were lost. As for you, my dear cousin, you know what I owe you. Not only have you looked out for me, like always, but you have protected my advisors. Yes. And if your highness would permit, I would like to relay our most sincere gratitude from all of Teleme. Thanks to your message, the Mother Cardinal was able to thwart the Commander's plans. By the grace of the Illuminated, the city is saved, and the traitors punished as they should be. I was told that you were able to catch the Commander before he got away. Barely, but alas, his lieutenants managed to escape. <sighs> I care little for the underlings. The Commander will pay for all of them. Do you happen to know the punishment we practice for treason? Oh, yes. I remember now. Enough talk of ruffians. They failed. And for that, I again thank Kurt. If your highness is looking for a means to translate his gratitude, gold is a present that is always appreciated. I imagine that you shall name a new commander. Yes. I will discuss the matter with loyalist officers, but I think I know who will be elected. I hope it is someone whom we can trust. We do need soldiers, but loyal soldiers above all. We are well aware that the Guard's reputation has been tarnished. We will not make the same mistake twice. Sieglinda is solid and loyal. I have fought beside her. You have my complete trust, Kurt. You have amply earned it. Before you leave, I must ask you something. All right, I'm listening. I'm always suffering, cousin. I'm in such terrible pain and we're yet to discover a cure. I'm sorry. I fully intend to continue my research. We have a number of leads, but with all that's been happening... Don't blame yourself. I know how much you do for me. Yet... I'm afraid that before the sickness claims me, the pain will have driven me mad. <sighs> if only there was a way to ease my suffering. I know of a healer. With powers that are legendary amongst the clans, it is rumored he can alleviate even the most terrible pains. His village is west of the city. I could take you there. One of our holy men lives in San Mateus. His healing powers are supposedly miraculous. Alas, it is a miracle we are in need of, my son. I'm nothing more than a sailor. I don't have much to offer when it comes to healing. As it would seem to lay me a prey for the Malachor, just like the Bridge Alliance. Perhaps it would be best to ask for aid from those not suffering from the plague. The sailor's right. The holy men and the sages had their chance on the continent, and we all know how that went. If this healer is as skilled as our pretty little sapling here says, then we need to see him right away. Thank you, as always, for your advice. Cousin, you are the only one I trust, so please, don't let me lose my mind. I'll follow the leads and find a way. I won't let you down. Hold on. I'll be back as soon as I can.